Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this tutorial we are going to look at how you can insert special German characters into your office documents and we're going to use an Excel spreadsheet for example here but the scenario is extremely similar if not the same so we want to insert special German characters such as the umlaut accented characters uh, and the S set, a kind of sharp S. Um, a few symbols that you do not find on a standard English keyboard, which is what I use here. So we want to see how we can insert these characters into Excel as it is here. Now the word I'm going to use to demonstrate this is Duskepec, which I do hope I'm pronouncing okay. But this whole tutorial came about because I have just begun to start learning German. And I wanted to create a vocab list to, to test my memory. So I was typing it out and I thought this would make a fantastic tutorial uh, for Computer Gaga. So here we go. I want to type in Das Kepek. And as I'm doing so, I now need this umlaut A. And I'm going to find this by going to an insert tab and to this symbol button on the far right. That's the only button you can use when it's editing mode of Excel. Now as soon as I click the button, I can see these characters visible. When you do it, this may not be the case, but it's a case of selecting the font we want in this top left hand corner, and I'm using Calibri right now, and then scrolling through this large list looking for the symbols that you're after. Uh, and I can see our umlaut characters here, the uppercase uh, A, E and U, and the, the lowercase A, E and U. Uh, you must be further down, and also the the asset sitting in there, that Latin small letter sharp S. So all of our umlaut kind of characters are in there, and we want to look at inserting them. I'm going for the A in this case, this umlaut A, and I'm going to hit insert. Now just before I hit insert, just note this character code, this number code of two two eight. We're going to use it in a moment as an alternative way of entering these characters. And it's something you do regularly. It might be worth remembering those, having a reference. It's normally a little bit quicker than going insert symbol and so on. Although bear in mind once you've used them that they will appear in this recent list. It won't be quite as tedious in the future. Anyway, I'm on that A. I'm going to click insert. I can see it appear in the background. I'm going to close that box and finish off the word and what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate using it again now but with our number code now the number code was 0228 to use that we have to use the numeric area of the keyboard so you must have your numlock key on please check that before using it you cannot use the numbers along the top of the keyboard they have to be the ones on the right and as I begin to type I can hold down Alt, put 0, 2, 2, 8, and in goes the A. So maybe better for speed. Oh, it doesn't help if you make a typo in the end like that. But maybe better for speed uh, using them number codes as opposed to having to go through insert. But they are the two primary ways, really, of inserting any symbol. So focusing here on special German characters, such as the umlaut accented ones. But this would you know, quite happily... You know, remain the same for whether you're, you know, whether you're using Turkish letters or whether they be Latin or Greek or French, and they can be found in that symbol list or by by remembering them kind of character codes. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargot.com.